Do you like Battleship but hate the random guessing? Do you love Scrabble but you can't think of words longer than five letters? Well, you may be in luck. Hi, my name is Nicholas and I'm the designer of Crossword Crossfire. Crossword Crossfire is a two-player game that plays in about 25 to 35 minutes and is recommended for players at least 10 years old. And in this video, I'll be guiding you through how the game works, introducing some of the unique features of the game to you, and answering some common questions I've received. Crossword Crossfire beautifully blends the strategy of Battleship and the word building of Scrabble. The players will take turns building words from the letter tiles in their hand. They can choose to use these words defensively to strengthen their fleet, or offensively to attack the other player. When a player adds a new ship to their fleet, their opponent now has more ships they need to sink. When a player sends a ship to attack, the opposing player reveals any letters in that word that appear on their board and its location. Once a player sinks all their opponent's ships, that player wins. So that's a super bare-bones explanation of how the game works. But what is it that makes this more than a simple mashup of two classic games? To start, we have the crossfire tile. On a player's turn, instead of playing a word, they can play a crossfire tile. When they do this, they select any space on the grid, and if their opponent has a letter on that space, they reveal it. And let's say you really want to guess a certain letter, but you just aren't ever drawing it. On your turn, you can discard your hand instead of playing a word and guess a letter. Your opponent then reveals every location that letter appears on their board. And finally, the player boards are dry erase. This allows the players to take notes as they play the game, to help them strategize even deeper. Now when teaching this game to new players, there are a few questions that I receive often enough that I think are worth answering in this video. The first is, how do you balance defensive players? What's stopping me from just playing ships onto my board for the first five or six turns? Every time you add a ship to your fleet, your hand size decreases by one. So holding off on playing new words can be really beneficial by giving you more letter options. The second question I hear is, what if I'm not drawing good tiles? When you play a word to attack, all of those tiles stay out in the scrapyard. And when you draw tiles back to your hand limit at the start of your turn, you can choose to take any combination of letters from the scrapyard and blind letters from the bag. Be careful though, because once a crossfire tile is played, all the tiles in the scrapyard are put back into the bag. If you still aren't getting the letters you need, that's where utilizing the crossfire tiles or discarding your hand can come in handy. With all of these different available actions, you should be able to get new information every turn. So that basically covers everything I needed to in this video. Crossword Crossfire is a simple to learn game that still offers a lot of strategic depth. If you have any questions or you want to know more, feel free to reach out to me on um, Instagram, TikTok, or Hive at, at Nicholas J. Reese, and I'd be happy to chat with you. Thanks so much for watching and learning more about Crossword Crossfire.